Lou? Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, who can spot the animal? Now, there are two animals in that shot, and they're quite big normally and quite easy to spot, and that just gives you an idea of the size of the Ololo escarpment. So, Davi, can you go wider still? So, there we go, there's the top of the escarpment. And you've got some boulders and stuff around. And then we've got a female elephant and her calf feeding just below a rocky outcrop with a fig tree on it. Isn't that just too, too spectacular for words? Now, this is a, an area that we haven't spent too much time in yet. This is also part of the Sausage Prides territory. So we thought we would have a meander along the base of the Olololo escarpment to see if we could find or any other members of the, the lion pride or, of course, anything else. And we've got a lovely cow and calf. Now, it is very, very beautiful here. And I'm just sorry, I'm not sure whether I've got comms. But just give me a second. Okay, I think I've got it all fixed. Isn't this too, too wonderful? Quite windy today. Now I'm also hoping we get some interesting bird species along here. And uh, I can hear everything perfectly now. So we've got comms with final control again. So of course if we go look higher up the escarpment, Dave, you can see there's some, some forests. And of course we're going to get a whole host of different bird species in there. In some, in some areas those forests come right down to where we are. So we're going to be looking very, very carefully. Isn't this just too magical? Now, a very exciting story that um, I saw a bird that has been eluding me for about 15 years on this escarpment, and uh, it is the blue swallow. And it's a very rare bird. There's only, there's estimated between one and a half and 4,000 left in the wild. And um, what happens is they, they nest, there's a couple of uh, pairs in South Africa and in Swaziland and then the two really big populations of them are in, in, in Zambia and southern Tanzania. Now those Zambian and southern Tanzanian birds, a lot of them migrate to the north of Lake Victoria um, to feed when out of breeding season and then what happens is they slowly make their way back down to their breeding grounds but they stop off in places to, to um, collect insects and eat on their, on their long migration. Now this is the, well, the first record was from about two weeks before we arrived of blue swallows along this escarpment area here. And Dave and I went down to that area and we actually managed to find four of them. And then Tyler, who's the general manager of Angama, he managed to find another four in another area. So there's always a chance, who knows, will we keep our eyes open? we might even find the very rare blue swallow in this area. So what happens is they generally quite like to perch on quite small things like that dead tree over there next near the elephants. So we're always just keeping our eye out and with this incredible wind we've got, they tend to swoop very fast. So we've got to keep our eyes carefully peeled and who knows, maybe we'll find an, a leopard or two along the escarpment. And we've just got a Cape Turtle Dove flying past. That's not a, not a rare bird. But uh, also, as the wind picks up, it's not great for birding, uh, but we will do our, our best. And also, once we've got our other vehicles down, where I don't have to pop in and out, I'm sure we're going to be able to see quite a few more birds. Oh, Fluffy, that is a difficult question. What is my favorite bird call? Oh, now I've got to think. Hmm, I've got a few favorite bird calls. I think um, the Hugulins, or white-browed robin, is, is definitely one of my favorite bird calls. And then the great blue Taraco is also an, another one of my favorites. That's uh, sort of cock, cock, but it's, well, it's, I can't do it nicely. Um, but yeah, I'd say those are probably my two favorites. I've probably got a hundred favorites if I think about it for too long, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to go with the two. Now, remember, hashtag Safari Live if you want to ask us any questions, like Fluffy just did, and we would love to hear from you. And we are live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya, right below the exquisite Ololo escarpment. Our camp is high up on the escarpment, but further to the north. Uh, so we do have wonderful vistas from camp.
Now, Dan is wondering, oh, do we get any African grey parrots here? Uh, Dan, we do not. Um, oh, hang on, Darby, there's something flying in. Let's just see where it lands. Now, there are a couple of starlings that I really want to show you, and it's disappeared into the glass. There's a, a, a particular starling called a superb starling, which is superbly beautiful. I'm hoping uh, this is a good area for them. We'll keep an eye out. But Dan was wondering about African grey parrots. Uh, you've got something. It flew away. Where are you looking? Oh dear. Oh, it's a yellow-throated longclaw. Well spotted, Dave. That should be a new bird species for a lot of people. Now, a yellow-throated longclaw. Uh, they're one of the more common grassland species you get here. Dan, I will get back to the parrots, but while we have a longclaw... Oh, we've got a starling incoming. He's going to land. He's going to chase the longclaw off. But unfortunately, it is not the superb starling it is, is it? So difficult in that dark. Mm, we can't really see. That's just a well. It's a starling. We'll leave it at that for now. But Dan was wondering about African grey parrots, and uh, we don't get any of them here. They are forest species, and as you can see, this is very much an open savanna. Oh, I can hear a cysticular calling, but in the grass somewhere. Jane is wondering, could I describe what the dawn chorus is like in the Mara? And it is, it is dominated by the white-browed robin chat, which has got one of the most beautiful calls, and it is definitely, a call, as I said, one of my favorite calls. Uh, it is exquisite. I suggest you look it up. Oh, what have we got here? It looks like a little flycatcher. Now, which flycatcher? Now, that is a different question. Watch, I might, my head might pop through. I'm sorry, I just need to get my binoculars. No, I missed. Is it a flycatcher? No, it's not. What have we got here? Mystery bird. Oh, very interesting. See the very yellow feet? It actually looks like one of the pipits now that I look a bit closely. Quite a thick bill. Now, of course, I'm learning the birds up here. I'm a bit rusty on them, so we're going to learn together. I think this one might take me a little while to figure out. I'm going to have to look at my, my book. And very yellow legs, very thick bill. Quite a light throat. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to try to figure out what bird this is. So while we do that, let's go back to Tristan, who's cruising around Juma.